What's going on guys? In my previous video I replaced my rack and pinion power steering system and a bunch of the hoses on my 2005 Ford F-150 and after replacing that as you can imagine my truck is grossly out of alignment so today I'm gonna do a quick alignment on this and it's just gonna adjust the tone and toe out which this isn't that hard to do really anybody can do this so let me show you how to get started. You'll have to forgive the mess, I uh, haven't had a chance to clean up from this repair yet. It'd be nice to get the truck out of here, but what you're going to need is you're going to need four affixed objects to run a string in between the tires. So in the back over there, I used a lawnmower on that side, jack stand in the front, jack stand in the front, and another lawnmower on the back side. Also, when you start this, it's a good idea to put something that reduces the friction in between your tires and the ground. As you can see, I use just a thin sheet of plexiglass. It's not a bad idea to put a little bit of grease on there. Same thing on the other side. Also, while you're doing this repair, you want to have your key in the on position. So that way, when you adjust the steering wheel, if you need to, it will not lock up. And also, you want to make sure that your steering wheel is in the upright position like so. Um, very common while we're adjusting the tie rod ends down there, the steering wheel may move from side to side, so you, you just got to constantly be checking this to make sure it's straight. Otherwise, while you're going down the road, it's possible that your steering wheel uh, will be cocked to one side and you'll be going straight. So in order to make sure that while you're going straight down the road, you want the steering wheel to be straight throughout this process. So again, here are the two lawnmowers, which are just holding the strings in the back. Like so. Now we are going to need a ruler to measure the string off the center of the tires. Uh, I prefer metal rulers, which this one has a little bit of corrosion on it, but I can still see it just fine. You may struggle seeing it on the camera. But the reason I choose a metal ruler over, say, a, uh, a plastic one like a school ruler, if you look at the end of this, you can see where the zero is, and you can see that there's maybe like a sixteenth of this uh, ruler material that extends past the zero so this is a bit inaccurate as opposed with like a metal ruler like this the end is perfectly on the end if that makes sense okay so now I'm gonna take measurements off the hubcaps and it doesn't matter what number you choose you definitely don't want the string on the tires so it's better to have it a bit off the tires and you want this number to be uh, the same all the way around that just helps make it a bit easier to deal with Okay, so from the center of the hub to the string is two inches all the way around the truck, and I've checked those measurements twice. So now what I need to do is I need to take a measurement on the front tires. Uh, now I'm going to measure on the edge of the rim in the front and on the back. So in the back, it's a little bit shy of two and an eighth. And in the front, it's pretty much two and an eighth which that's pretty close. Uh, you want, from what I've read online, you want about a sixteenth of an inch of toe in. So I'm going to adjust this just slightly to bring the edge of this front left tire in just a hair. Okay, so in order to adjust this, I need to close this gap a little bit. And the way you do that, you have your jam nut right here. If it's snug on your tie rod end, you need to loosen that up and back that off some. And for my truck, I'm going to take a 15 millimeter wrench and I'm going to put probably a quarter turn, maybe a half turn uh, in a clockwise motion and that will bring the tie rod towards the center of the truck. That's maybe a quarter turn. Now I'm going to go back and measure this again. But actually, before I measure that, I'm going to go back in the cab. After every measurement, you want to check, or after every adjustment, you want to check your steering wheel and make sure it's perfectly straight, which it appears to be perfectly straight. Careful not to touch your string. Now 
Now this is about two, two and a sixteenth. And in the front, we're at about two and an eighth. So that's about perfect right there. The difference between the front and the rear is the sixteenth of an inch. The sixteenth of an inch front tire should be toe in. So, Okay, so now I'm going to come back down here to the tie rod and twist my jam nut on the tie rod end. I take a wrench and just snug this in. That will lock our tie rod in where we've set it to. Ugh, all right. So now we're going to do the other side. Going back in the truck. Take a look at the steering wheel. Make sure it's pretty much perfectly straight, which it is. We'll go and check the other side. It's about two and an eighth. That's that's pretty close. That's about a two and an eighth too. So need to bring the toe in on this a little bit. Okay, so I'm coming in here with my 15 mil. I'm gonna rotate this clockwise about a quarter turn, like I did the other side. Better quarter turn. I'm gonna go up in the cab, make sure the steering wheel's straight, and then we'll measure this again. That two and an eighth there. That's two and a sixteenth right there. Perfect. Okay, and then we'll lock up that jam nut, and we'll be good to go. And that's a good repair. She's driving straight as an arrow.